Now we're gonna have a little chat. Okay. Okay? And we can do it the hard way, or we can do it the easy way. I'd like to pick the easy way. Yeah, well I'd like to pick the easy way too. Doing SAT and math problems the hard way usually involves a lot of this, what you see in the screen, and leaves you feeling like this. Ow! But don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. Here's number 10. Which of the following equations has a graph in the xy plane for which y is always greater than or equal to negative 1? Well, first thing I might do is I might draw a little graph just to get an idea of what's going on. I'll put negative 1 there, and you guys should know that y equals negative 1 looks like that. So what does this problem want us to find out? It wants us to find out when y is always greater than or equal to negative 1. Well, that means that our answer choices here should always be up in this region, above it. Now, when we go to our answer choices though, what do we find? We find an equation with negative 2 on the outside. Here's an equation with negative 2 on the outside. And the same thing for choice D. And we should know that anytime you have an equation and a negative whatever is on the outside of the equation, that's a shift down. And in this case, it's a shift down of 2. So if we go to 2 now, or a negative 2, every single one of these equations are at least going to hit a point right there. And that makes all three of them junk answers. You got to go with C. Ooh, nice. And real quick, here's a review for you. If you know the shape of y equals x squared, it's just a parabola, right? And it hits at 0, 0. I'm not going to do the exact points, but we should know how transformations work. If you see a plus 1 on the outside, you're going up. So you're going up one unit and you're drawing your parabola. Okay, good. What happens if it's minus two? Well, we just did this, it's on the outside. So you go boop, boop, negative two, down two, and draw your parabola. Perfect. What about when it's inside the parentheses? Well, it does the opposite. Negative or minus three means go to the right three units. So you're going one, two, three, put your point, draw your parabola, okay? And finally, the last example, plus 2, but it's on the inside of the parentheses. That means it's doing the opposite. You're going left 2. Boop, boop, there's negative 2. Put your point, draw your parabola, and you're done. And maybe the last thing I'll show you, we know that positive parabolas, or when there's a positive number in the front here, like in B, it's going to make a smile. And if there's a negative in the front, if this was a negative x squared, it makes a frown. Right? Frowns open down. That's all you gotta know.